What's up, Scorpion fans? I'm here with head coach Alan Marcin. And Alan, you'll have a game tomorrow night against FC Edmonton. Tell me where you're at mentally, especially with the last game against Edmonton. Yeah, we, we're in a good state of mind. You know, the guys have been working hard and confident. Um, and uh, we're excited. You know, we felt the result in Edmonton was unjust. You know, yes, we lost, but we felt we were the better team. Um, and hopefully tomorrow night we show that and we get the three points. Now, it was just a few days since the last game against Tampa Bay. Um, is the small amount of time kind of hard on the team, a little bit stressful, or do you just kind of take it day by day and just as the game comes? No, we've got a, a great staff and um, you know they have recovery strategies that we've implemented, so we feel our guys will be fresh um, and they're excited. And right now Edmonton's the top of the fall standings, so that's extra motivation. Uh, to get a result against them, as was last week and against Tampa, who are the overall points leader. It's almost like revenge. I can't wait. <laughs> We're excited as well. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. We can't wait for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Scorpions fans, I'm here with Daryl Sattler. Now, Daryl, you'll have a game tomorrow night against FC Edmonton. Um, Where is the pressure? Where is the, sh I guess, just mentality at uh, after the last game with FC Edmonton? Uh, the last game was really wild game, you know, as far as refereeing, and, and we created a ton of chances before the first half. We probably should have put away that. You know, we at the end of the day, it, it kind of falls on us not putting our chances away. But that was a wild game. You know, two red cards. I'm, I'm thankful to be back from suspension and, and be healthy from an injury during the break. Um, so the pressure is there just because it's almost a revenge. In the two games we've played, uh, I think we outscore them four to three. But we're coming off a bad taste in our mouth with that team. So uh, and it's at home. We need points, and I think we're starting to show the league what we can put together. I mean, last game we came off a good result, but it hasn't been continuous. But completely have faith in this team. I always said we'd be in playoffs and that we were a good team. We just took a little while to find that, that uh, spell and you know we're, they're coming into our house and when you have the 12th man these fans here it's a big difference so we're just hoping to come out here and put our chances away and not give up any and, and do it in front of our fans in our hometown. Now going off of this past game on Saturday against um Tampa, thank you. <laughs> um, it's it's going to be a short it's going to be a short couple of days until you play SC Edmonton tomorrow. Yeah. How is that? Is is it hard, like kind of getting back into the swing of things, or just practice and training, or is it tough on your body? How is that? Uh, That's where depth comes into play. You know, three game or uh, three games in eight days. Uh, you got to be deep. You know, with injuries and, and just rest on the body. So, yeah, this this week's a little bit different. We play, recover, do a light session today, play again, have a light session, get ready for flying to. North Carolina on Friday and play Saturday so it's just doing the good the, the things you need to hydrate and replenish your body and eat right rest right get the ice if you need it just take care of the injuries and we've got a good medical staff and trainers that are doing that and the coaches are smart about how long we train in this 100 degree heat so it's just uh, doing all the details that really really benefits the team so at the point at this moment we, we finished training just now and now it's rest get ready and focus mentally and physically we're, we're all feeling good and we wish and pray Jules was here. You know, it was a, it was a really bad injury, but you know, we we all went. To, I saw him yesterday in the hospital, and for me, you know, we just try to tell him the worst part of it's over: the pain and the trauma, the actual break. The, the doctors, you know, have fixed him, and he's already on day two of recovery, and that's the way he's got to look at it. And he'll be back. He's too strong. He's a warrior. You guys have seen him on the field, but yeah, he had a really serious uh, trauma injury. And, but at the, you know, as of what was it Thursday morning, he had surgery, and he's already on day two of recovery. Or, I guess that was Saturday? Monday morning. Monday morning. Yeah, Monday morning. Today's Tuesday. Yeah. What day is it? What month? Today's. <laughs> that's so, what that's what happens when you have games, 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 games. You, you, you know, but you know, you, you just gotta be ready and gotta be prepared. And you know, we just wish Jules was here, but he's he's uh he's he's part of this team. He's not just because he's not playing doesn't mean he's not part of this team. So we just miss him. That's all. We wish him you know get back speedy recovery. So since you did see him uh, this past weekend, you could say mentally that he's actually doing okay. He's and doing we can't good. expect yeah, to yeah. see him this season. He's doing good, and he wants everybody to know that the fans supported him, you know, through thick and thin. And right now he's going through uh, some adversity, and just he's look, he's got a family here, and we're all looking after him. And, you know, he's he's got a little more time spent with his baby now, so it's not a bad thing. But uh, we wish him the best, wish him a speedy recovery, and look forward to seeing him back on the field. Awesome. Thank you, Daryl. Good luck Thank tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.